Excel with Gabrielle. I'm your host, Gabrielle Jordan, and every Sunday at 7 p.m., I'll be giving motivational advice and entrepreneurial tips to entrepreneurs and leaders just like you. So make sure you go to my website, gabrielljordaninspires.com slash Excel to subscribe to the Excel Youth Mentoring Institute. And also, tell more people about this because I wouldn't want anybody to miss anything. So, on today's episode of Excel with Gabrielle, I am very excited to share with you another amazing young entrepreneur that is doing amazing things. Her name is Zandra of Zandra Beauty, and she creates artisan natural skincare beauty products for girls. Zandra is a huge advocate for girls' education and empowerment. She is quite the inspiration to young girls, and I'm very excited to share with you Ms. Zandra of Zandra Beauty. Let's jump into the interview. Welcome, Zandra. Thank you you. for being a guest on Excel with Gabrielle. I'm so glad that you were able to do this interview with me and for my audience. So let's get started. Number one, how old are you, Zandra? I'm 15 years old. You're 15. And how old were you when you started your company? And then share with us about your company. I was nine years old when I started my company. The idea actually came from my dad. When I was nine, I had a strong patch for lip balm. That every day before you go off to work, I go to ask him if he bought me a new one. Of course, he got tired of me axing, and he said, I'm not going to keep buying you lip balm, so why don't you just make your own? Of course, he said it as a joke, but then I actually thought about it. How do you actually make lip balm? What goes into it? And how does it just appear in stores? So I took the idea to my mom, and we started researching, watching YouTube videos. And the following year, she enrolled into a kids' business program, yeah. and that's where I started merchandising my product. Fantastic. And you're not- and <laughs> Sorry? Oh, <laughs> and I was just going to talk about, like, today I have a total of 30 products and five different cents, and 10% of my proceeds is given back to good education. And that's fantastic. We're going to actually talk a little bit about that um, later on in the interview. But um, tell the name of your product or your name of your company is, of course, Zandra, your name. Um, and I love that just because I love the one name kind of thing. It's really cute and, stu- and um, I guess, very professional sounding. Um, so continuing on from, you know, now that you've started your company and you're kind of growing it, and now you have you have a lot of things going on in your company. But what really inspires you and motivates you to do what you're doing and to you know create new products and things and you know move forward? Well, what inspired me was that when I was younger, I wasn't able to use most of the commercial products that were out there for me, mm-hmm. and I wanted to. Well, started off with just making products for something that I can use, and then actually um, going through the program and seeing that I can make money doing this, uh, doing what I love and something that's nurturing for myself that I can just spread out to the world and hopefully inspire other people to start businesses and things like that. And what inspires me is just to see people's face expression when they find out that I'm only 15 and I have a business. So. <laughs> and that's the same thing. I, lo- I love that. I love when people are like, they yes. think it's your, your your mom as the owner, but it's actually you. But, um, and then also, I, I guess this is a big part. I, I know this is a big part of you and your company where you give back to the girl Girls Inc. Is that correct? And you do a lot with them. I see a lot of times on your social media that you post a lot about Girls Inc. and about what you're doing. Can you just expand a little bit about that and, you know, how you give back? Yes. Well, overall, the business, 10% is given back to girls' education. Mm-hmm. But more um, specifically, um, I connected with a local uh, Day of the Girl, uh, not Day of the Girl, a local um, not-for-profit called Girls' Education Collaborative. It's locally here in Buffalo, New York. And... They're building a school in Tanzania, and 10% of my proceeds is giving back to there. And they're uh, making a whole building on a, a huge science center. So, yeah, and hopefully I'll be able to go there and teach classes and things like that. But amazing. in regards to the Girls, Inc., I I just, um, I would say three weeks ago, I just got back from their conference, and I was guest speaker for them, and I just love the event. It was so great. Oh, and what fantastic. it stands for and everything. What so. do they do? Do you share with the audience what they do? Well, Girls Inc. is kind of, no, not kind of, it is an all-girl group, all about empower, empowerment and 
learning different skills and things like that. So it's all about like a spilling of sisterhood. And yeah, if you lean on each other in their corner and it, well, the quote is, um, if, with you in her corner, she will win. So kind of like building a, like a sisterhood and all about support and friendship and things like that. Oh, great. So as an entrepreneur and a philanthropist getting to this point, have you had any challenges that you'd have to, that you had to overcome? Maybe you're dealing with challenges now. Can you share with the audience, you know, maybe how you have gotten over those challenges or how you're getting over the, ch- the current challenges? Well, I would say the, one, the most biggest challenge starting out with my business would have to be once I got out of well, because I quickly aged out of the um, kids' business program that I started off with. Mm-hmm. And once I was out of there, there's nothing really, like, available for, like, teenpreneurs, mm. like, where I live and things like that. So, me and my mom doing researching and, like, knocking down doors and trying to, like, figure out, like, what is, what do I do next and, like, right. what is there available to me? So, we just had to overcome that and look for a different, look in a different direction. And that brought me to the UB um, Women's Minority Program. And I was 13 then. And I was, like, the youngest person in the room. I was, like... <laughs> Everybody in the room was, like, over 29. It was crazy. Wow. And I had to get permission from the school and things like that. So, yeah. And from there, like, what did you do? Like, what was, you know, that, that step? Like, what did you learn from that group and to in order to take that next step into really being that entrepreneur? What uh, what was that next step? Well, what I learned from the group, well, what I learned from the program is all about connecting, that you need to have those strong connections, like the mentor like, through that group, like, ending out from the group, because that was, like, a year-long program, and what I learned was, like, this is real, like, I mm-hmm. had to create a business plan through there, um, and I also learned that if I want to take this to the next level, I might have to think about some changes, and that's really kind of, like, what sparked the idea of rebranding my company from Azar and Innocence to Zandra, mm-hmm. through working with my mentor and things like that, so what came of it was rebranding my business into what it is today. And I think that's really great advice for another young person in the fact that you seeked uh, other learning opportunities in order to grow in your business because a lot of people feel like they should they have to do it by themselves. And I think that's really great that you decided that it was good for you to be in an environment where you can learn from other people that have started businesses or people that are le- that are learning how to start businesses themselves. So I think that's something that a lot of kids can actually learn from, or a lot of people, period, can learn from and to know that they don't have to do it by themselves. So... Now, again, as you're, what you're doing now, as you know, you're as being a philanthropist and an, an uh, entrepreneur and growing your company. Where do you actually see your company growing to be in maybe five years or even next week? What do you, what do you, where do you want to see your company? Well, of course, I want to see my company grow and be as big as it can or as possible it can be. So I hope in the future it'll be already a million dollar company. Yeah. But I really just want to. I wanted to. I want. I just really want to create more opportunities for other entrepreneurs. So in the future, like have programs and things like that. So like when, so like kind of like when they were in my like in my shoes. Like once you age out of like a program, what's next for you? Like right. things like that. And also just traveling and speaking and letting people know like all about girls' education and how how important it is that to know that even though we have. Even though girls in other countries don't have the same rights as we do here in America, this is our time to take advantage of the access of education that we have and try things new, stop out of your comfort zone and try coding and how to build websites and things like that, things that you wouldn't see a normal teenage girl doing. And you are a speaker, right? Yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. So a lot of people should know that as well. So you're a you're a philanthropist, yeah. entrepreneur, and a speaker. Fantastic. Triple threat. <laughs> um, so um, last thing I want to ask is to share with us a little bit about, you know, your social media, uh, phone, not phone mm-hmm. number, not, um, but your website. Uh, where are the ways that people can contact you? Well, you can contact me. I'm basically on every social media site, so Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at Sandra Beauty, and my website um, is andrewbeauty.com and you can email me or if you have questions or anything or concerns or anything at andrewbeauty at gmail. <laughs> at gmail. 
Okay. Perfect. And all that, all the links and all that will be down below so you guys can check that out. And I really hope that you guys will check out her website and her Instagram and everything that she um, is on. So, because she's doing some really amazing things. I, Xandra, what had, I actually, I had the honor of having Xandra the part of my mentoring institute or the mastermind that I do. Um, yes, that was great. Year. I'm glad. I that love that. I'm really it was glad so great. that you liked it. And I'm, I'm really, I, I, I tell a lot of kids that, um, I liked I like having people like you in their group because you have a lot of experience in your business already, so you're able to share a little bit about your experience, which was fantastic. So I just wanted to say I know it was great to have you in the group, and she's definitely well developed, and she's just growing. She's on the move, so please support Miss Zandra and her and her product, Zandra Beauty, because That's you're cool. going to want to invest in this. So thank you so much, Zandra, for joining me on Excel with Gabrielle, and thank you for doing this interview with me today. Well, of course. Thank you so much for having me. And I am, you know, best hopes and best wishes for your company to grow. And of course, I will be there supporting, of course, because you are definitely someone that is on the rise and a trailblazer. So keep doing what you're doing, Zandra. Thank you so much. Likewise. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Excel with Gabrielle. I hope that you enjoyed the interview with Ms. Zandra of Zandra Beauty. Make sure to check out all of her information, her website, her social media. You're going to want to support her because she is on the move. Also, make sure to go onto my website, gabrieldordaninspires.com slash excel. Subscribe to the Excel Youth Mentoring Institute. You can email me at excel at gabrieldordaninspires.com to send me any questions, comments, or concerns that you'd like me to discuss in my next video. I hope that you'll join me next Sunday at 7 p.m. to learn, grow, and excel with Gabrielle. See ya!